What's up guys, my name is Carlos Berto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, um, do so at the end of the video because you don't know why, or I, I don't know why I should tell you to subscribe just yet because I haven't even gotten into the video. But just if you watch this video and then you could subscribe later. For those of you who are already subscribed in here, thank you so much. If you guys are subscribed and haven't hit that notification bell button, please do so now because that's what matters now and that's the only way you guys will see when I upload a video and more importantly, a hair video. And as you guys can see, my hair cut is pretty edgy right now, which is cool. And I have a video coming for this hair cut that I got yesterday by my boy Nando. So just know that that's coming for sure in uh, by the end of the week. So. Anyways, now let's go ahead and begin this video and I'm gonna tell you guys the subject of this video. So let's do that right now. So today what I have for you guys is curly slash wavy maintenance tips and tricks. And I think it's very important because guys with wavy hair have a lot of issues. I feel like for us, we're prone to more issues and not a lot of us know how to handle it, especially having wavy hair uh, and especially having curly or wavy hair. Sometimes the depth of the curls and, and, and everything could just overwhelming because we wish that we had straight hair but to be honest with you if you know how to manage curly or wavy hair it's actually the best hair type ever because you could do whatever you want and there's enough volume in there there's enough natural curl and you could even go ahead and straighten it if you want to on occasions so I think we have the best of all worlds and I just want to make sure that you guys know how to take measures on how to properly do maintenance on your hair. Today what I'm gonna share with you guys are tips and tricks that you guys could use for your daily life with your wavy curly, wavy curly hair. So let's go ahead and get into this video right now. So I feel like with guys, so I feel like men with wavy and curly hair have a big responsibility. Wavy hair comes with a big responsibility. You have to have a nice daily regimen in order for you to maintain the locks, in order for you to maintain a, a healthy uh, set of hair. And it's very important for us to know exactly what we could use and how we could do certain things that allow us to have and maintain a, a very good set of hair. So tip number one is routinely apply a moisturizer. You wanna make sure you keep your volume rich and full and prevent any kind of dry out and that's very important. So for me, the thing that I use all the time is Moroccan oil. You're gonna wanna make sure you use a moisturizer like Argan Magic, it's right here. It's also linked down below in the description. You can find it on Amazon. And I use this maybe every other day or it depends what kind of hair product or how my hair is acting or reacting to certain products that I'm using. Then I kind of double up on it and use it a little bit more often. But you have to figure out your routine. You have to figure out your own regimen because like I said, depending on how curly and wavy your hair is and you might have to have a different regimen than I have. But nonetheless, a moisturizer is very important and key to maintaining a nice, healthy, set of hair so that's your first tip tip number two is you're gonna want to make sure that you don't over shampoo don't over wash your hair you want to make sure that you are either washing your hair with shampoo every other day with conditioner or you could co-wash it meaning you'll use only conditioner on certain days so for example depending on your hair and depending how much buildup you have and grease and all that stuff that you guys have to kind of figure out on your own is you either shampoo and condition your hair twice a week, three times a week, and that's it. Or you could shampoo it once a week and co-wash it twice a week, and you could have that regimen as well. And co-washing it just means using conditioner be uh, between shampooing. So that's a very healthy way of keeping your hair and making sure that you keep the moisture that you need and not necessarily stripping everything out because if you strip everything out and you over shampoo it, then your hair is gonna become very frizzy and it's gonna become dry and have some fraying and you just don't want that, that to happen to your hair. You'll be able to notice that uh, pretty quickly if you have damaged curly wavy hair and you'll feel that there's a lot of tugging and pulling regardless of the product So it's not about the product at that point It's about just over washing and you just stripping the nutrients and everything that you need in your hair For it to have that natural moisture So you want to make sure that you keep that moisture in there and co-washing it or just shampooing it only on certain days and, and very minimal uh, weekly so figure out your routine, but it's very important to do at least two to three times a week only or figure out the co-washing situation But that totally depends on you, but you can figure it out But don't wash your hair every single day with shampoo because you're gonna set yourself up You're not you're gonna be clean, but your hair is not tip number three is stay away from very high hold products you don't want to use high hold matte finishing products because it's very hard to get into the root and you're gonna have to use a little bit more in order to get into the root and it's not gonna be as manageable and you're not gonna have that nice natural volume and it's gonna weigh down the hair. It's just gonna cut down definition. So you wanna make sure that you use a nice styling cream product, something that really isn't too hard to apply and that has a, a nice hold but not super grippy because if you have thick wavy hair, it's very hard 
to actually apply the product and it's gonna probably pull your hair out and if your hair is very very curly then it's just not gonna go in if you have a high hold product and you really don't necessarily need to use a high hold product if you have very curly hair because it doesn't make sense uh, unless you are straightening your hair out so for curly wavy hair I highly recommend using a nice styling cream like chapter <laughs> Or you could go ahead and figure out another product that you guys use. Maybe it's not going to be a styling cream, a clay necessarily, but it might be some other form of styling that you guys might need, like a like this American Crew texturizing boost spray. And this is out of the new series called Tech Series. And I use this texturizing spray a lot, especially right now with my hair. It's very short, but it's still curly, and I want to maintain the curls. I don't necessarily want to even brush out the waves. I want to make sure that they stay in there. So I'm using so I'm using the texturizing spray to give me some boost and also give me some texture natural texture and I apply this while my hair is damp and it gives me that nice volume and a nice texture so this comes out as a mousse as well so you it kind of lasts a long time because you don't use that much so if you guys are interested in checking this out I highly recommend it I use that as a post styler and then I use chapter as a pre styler because it is a styling cream not because it's my product but because it actually works very well for my hair right now so I could apply this and I don't have to worry about tugging and pulling and I don't have to worry about it about it being super high hold and I could just, you know, have a natural pliable look, which is what you want when you have curly and wavy hair. So check this out. Use Carlos for 10% um, off. Another tip is if you are going to get a haircut and you're going to your hairstylist, make sure you tell them not to thin it out. It's very important for us to not thin out wavy and curly hair because you could have a lot of scalp exposure and your hair just isn't going to look nice and it's going to be kind of hard to control the waves if you have very little of them or if they strip out too many curls. So you want to make sure that if your barber or hairstylist is thinning your hair out that they actually know what they're doing. But for me, I don't like it when they thin it out because like I said, there's a lot of scalp exposure and it feels like I'm balding sometimes and it's just not as manageable if your hair is full. And like I said, we have, and, and for us that have wavy curly hair, we have nice volume and texture and that's all we really necessarily need. So it doesn't really matter if we have a lot of hair when it comes to this point because if we want volume and texture then it'll just kind of hold off it'll kind of just hold its weight and it'll give us an actual texture that we could form and shape um i highly recommend you guys just discussing this with your barber or your hairstylist before you do this if they are going to thin your hair out to make sure that they know exactly what they're doing because it's kind of easy for them to mess up and i've gotten horrible horrible hairstyles by good barbers because they just thin it out too much and it just doesn't look that great and it grows out very funny as well so i'm going to share a tip that you guys could request to your barber hairstylist towards the end of this video so continue watching now if you have very short hair short wavy curly hair like i do right now some people have it a little bit longer i've had my hair a little bit longer in the past and this is actually the first time i've had it this short in a very long time so if you guys are into having a very short tight cut like I have right now then you could use a matte finish product with a high hold or a, a, a medium hold or whatever you want to use but as far as products you're going to want to make sure that you're applying the products down to the root and also make sure that you guys kind of play with your hair being damped to semi dry because you want to make sure because sometimes a product just works a little bit better and it absorbs better into your curls or wavy hair if it is a little bit more damp even though the product may not be used with damp hair or maybe the directions don't necessarily state that you got you guys could experiment on your own with your hair and depending on your hair type to see what works for you guys so get to know your hair a little bit better and make sure that you apply the creams or the hair products whatever in different methods in different ways if it doesn't work the first time you try it doesn't necessarily mean that it won't work at all but all i'm saying is make sure you get to know your products before you pass judgment on it so also if you guys are blow drying your hair make sure that you don't blow dry too close and with too much heat you want to make sure that you're blow drying at the medium setting or if you're blow drying at a very hot setting make sure you keep it at a nice distance about five inches away from your hair because you don't want to burn your hair and fry your hair and it's just going to dry it out and make it look very frizzy and it's not going to be sustainable in the long run if you're just blow drying your hair with very very hot air because then it's just gonna mess up your hair you want to make sure that you're using the proper moisturizing or the proper serum before you're applying uh, heat to your hair and also there are a ton of different types of hair dryer whatever floats your boat whatever you're doing with your hair there's definitely a blow dryer for it so you want to make sure that if you are blow drying your hair every single day that at least get a good blow dryer and make that investment so that you won't be frying your hair using a cheap uh, hair dryer or a hair dryer that isn't supposed to do what you're going for so it's a very key to having healthy hair and if you guys are taking your hair seriously obviously you are because you're watching this video then make sure you check out and do your research on blow dryers. i don't necessarily know 
much about blow dryers don't get the dyson that's 400 you guys will probably find something a lot less expensive that does the same thing so don't go ahead and buy the dyson but if you guys do or you guys are ballers like that go ahead do it and tell me how it works but that's just a key that's just very important or you guys could just go to ulta or something like that or whatever your beauty store and just read the descriptions and labels on uh the hair drives but make sure you get the right one and yeah Last tip going back to your hairstylist and how you communicate with your hairstylist is make sure that you tell your barber or hairstylist to point cut and not cut in a straight line. Point cutting will evoke softness while ladder cutting will just make a very hard edge vibe. So you wanna make sure that your hair falls and sits naturally. You wanna make sure that your hair is growing out properly in the form that your hair grows out naturally. So by communicating with your barber and making sure that you know that you know what you're talking about and say, hey, can you point cut my hair instead of blunt cutting it? Then they'll be like, oh, okay, cool. They'll know what's up. So make sure you communicate with your barber and tell them to point cut if you have if you have wavy and curly hair because if they don't point cut then they're probably going to end up cutting in a straight line or texturizing it at the end so that's something that we want to prevent so make sure that you communicate with your barber and say can you point cut my hair or find someone who point cuts and you guys could check out my videos with nando and i have them linked i have a few linked down below or up here uh, where he does a point cutting technique and it's just a lot better and my hair falls better and it grows out better and it's just an overall better experience with my hair so I truly 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 appreciate point cutting in my life because if there wasn't for point cutting my hair would be so I hope you guys enjoyed this video so the products that I talked about were the tech series texturizing texturizing foam that works amazing that's out of the American Crew text series also the chapter styling cream but you guys could find this in the link down below you'll find it down below and you guys can use Carlos upon checkout so you guys get a discount Code. Also, a moisturizing cream that's right here. I can't find it. I don't know where it's at. I know it's somewhere around my house, but that's why I have to put it up here. But this Moroccan oil works very well. But if any moisturizer, but any moisturizer will do. So make sure you guys find a good moisturizer. Also, if you guys are in debates of what kind of shampoo you guys use, I highly recommend checking out the Paul Mitchell double hitter two-in-one shampoo and conditioner and I use this about once or twice a week depending on how long my hair is depending on what kind of hairstyle I have it's totally different and also depending on how much product I'm using and what product I'm using so sometimes if I'm using uh, an American Crew product or I'm using another kind of product like Fat Boy or something I might have to shampoo it less I have to shampoo it more so depending on the hair type depending on how it dries out my hair or how it feels and I'm going to be using this a little bit more often, but I'm not going to be overdoing it. And like I said, get to know your hair type. Everyone has a different hair type. Our hair is going to react differently to certain products, to certain everything. So just, you know, get to know your hair. And so you guys can find those. You guys can find that shampoo and conditioner down below. I'll link it in the description as well. It's a Paul Mitchell one. It works amazing. If you guys want to subscribe to me now, then go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell button please because that's just i don't know i guess no one gets notified anymore on my videos and it's kind of sad so yeah thank you guys so much for stopping by my youtube channel this week don't forget to put style on everything i will see you guys very very soon